We are broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Center Amplis, Forsk, Minnesota. And the Mutant Eaters have a proud history in the MFL of winning just about everything but the really big game that matters. And maybe that's why they have the same exact number of bars and churches. Hey, shut up and pass the tater tots, huh? Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man. I'm scared of Silla. I don't have no Silla. Hey, man. I'm scared of Silla now. You know what happened? Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Mutants I'd like to fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh! I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team! What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all! Ho ho! Va 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 voom! And it's first and ten. my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And that'll be second down and four. Third down and six. four-yard pick up there. Second down and six. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look out! And the lineman bats the ball away with his meaty paw for an incomplete pass. Great play. Third down and the punter is warming up. And he picks up four on that passing catch. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And 
and it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Second down in a very lot. Even though he's a big, nasty D lineman, he's still got his hands up for the deflection. Third down and long. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. Now. Just gotta scrape off the chart parts. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. And that player has one speed. He just cleats her caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe to toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. warming up caught for the first down and it's first and ten hey kids do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses that's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbags killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. Sandwich. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine?
And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Second down and five. Third down and, well, good luck. You've got to catch that. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. If you can't get the sack, that's the next best thing. Second down and ten. Zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up third and one. Is it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. <laughs> Second down in a mile. And the defense gives up five yards there. Third down and long. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? It gets me called sinners then. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. I'm surprised no one uses the electric carving knife. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than.
more than kickers? <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. The defense called it a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grant, but it keeps coming back to him. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and ten. Nicely done for a first down. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. Thank you that line. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money. That's it. That's our last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Oh, great catch. And that's a touchdown. <laughs> they want more points so they're going for two They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five yards on that play and he takes a time out here they have two left i wonder if he has a plan well maybe he's just gonna take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play this is 
is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Ah, oh, that was a poor Oh, game. you see that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. I'm a house killer on Silla. I am a hell on Silla. Second down, and the timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Second down in a mile. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that'll be their final timeout. Third down and, well, good luck. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. Now, this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the halftime show. It's still anyone's game here as we start the third quarter. Oh, I missed it, man. I was on the concourse grabbing some food, and there was this mutant leopard line, and he left in an angry hop. Why did he leave, Bricks? Uh, well, people kept dipping their chips in him. <laughs> When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. is better than nothing but not by much second down and nine that's the way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Second down and nine. He had it for a second there. Third down and nine. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. 
The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He is fighting for every yard. And it's first and ten. run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a super... Oh, he just got crushed! First and ten. He could go all the way. Where? Back to the bench? He dropped it, you butts. Second down and ten. And the defense puts one. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Mongren, that was a pass play. Rolling plays him in bowling. I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was tripod junk. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. The defensive player he refuses to go down. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stopped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, at the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And that'll bring up second and one. In a fight between Kick Tong and Godzilla, the player on Roid Rage would win. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor.
Third down and five. for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy. The Prince can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. And the defense just called the giant. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Manji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. He's at the 10. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. And I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed seat trip. He's running from his feet. It's clear. <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. Second and three. First and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and six. Watch out, the ball carriers brought a chainsaw onto the field. <laughs> Well, a little 
chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Gwen. It just ain't right. And it's first and ten. And they call a one-speed dirty trick. This play is usually good for a quick score because no contained. He finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I'm on. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and five. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit! Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. Man, what a hit that was. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. And it's first and ten. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout, so they better bring the ball back gift wrapped. 
Is it time for a ribbon or a ball grin? Maybe if they used their last time out. Oh, nice hit. That's the way you do it. Let them have it and then take it away. Second down and ten. And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Third down and long. <laughs> Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the... They stop the clock for their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And that's why they call it the money shot. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. You can't keep a good mutant. And they went to the air and came up big. Third down and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. The Purple Mutant Eaters crush the opposition and are victorious today. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How is it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Damn, I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...